Okay, and what's our first possible solution? Well, we can lower the state. In other words, I could just move the state variable as well as the button to a separate component. Let's think about it. Do we really need this count over here in the lower state? I mean, I'm just showing it in a button. So simply, I could create a different component. Let's call it counter. Move all of the logic over there. And then just import that in the lower state. And as a result, yes, we will be updating that state value. But that is not going to trigger re-renders in the lower state. So let's try this one out. We're going to navigate to the starter. We want to create a new file. And we'll call this counter JSX. And once I'm here, I'm just going to create that new component. And then basically, we want to jump back to index.jsx and grab the values. I guess let's start with our return. And in this case, I can just cut everything out. But that is not going to be the case with the import. So make sure that you leave that use state import because in the index, we're still using it, correct? So this one just copy. Let me set it up above the counter. Let's go over here, copy and paste. And then in here, I just want to grab this count one. So this one, again, we're cutting it out, set it up over here in the counter. And then lastly, we want to go back to the index and we want to set up that counter component. So counter component, let's save that. And now let's use the dev tools that we covered in the previous video. So now let me navigate back. Let me refresh. That's always a good starting point. And then let me again record. Notice I'm starting profiling. And I can right away see that only my box is being highlighted, which essentially is a good thing. That means that only this counter component is re-rendering, however, not the rest of the list. And let me stop over here and notice all this time, only the counter is rendering, right? So that's my initial render. And then all of these times I'm clicking on a button, only the counter is basically re-rendering. Why? Well, because state changed. Notice why this rendered? Well, hook one changed, which effectively is our name. Now, million dollar question, are you going to be able to do that in all the instances? Of course not. But this is definitely something I want you to consider before you grab the memos and use callbacks and all that. There are going to be instances where you can simply just split up the logic. So instead of jamming everything in one component and then having those unnecessary re-renders, essentially, the moment you move the logic to a separate component, that's not going to be the case anymore. So notice now I only have four rendered and I still have, of course, the use effect code. So that's the first solution to our issue. We can simply lower the state, right? So we can just set up separate component and add all of the logic in there. So that way we're not going to be triggering these unnecessary re-renders.